to the sea for a getaway car top down and we're driving just to feel young moving away to the sea moving away can't you see sand in your feet feel the breeze in the summertime stars in the sky one dying for the first time moving away to the sea moving away can't you see we'll drink any by the ocean it's our favorite potion Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's currently the second day of our holiday. We, I don't think I mentioned before, which I think I was saw in my other vlog, we're actually staying in Malulaba, which is like near the Sunshine Coast. And yesterday, yes, I did get a little bit sunburnt. I know, I know. I put sunscreen on, but I was just out in the sun too long. What can you do? So we're just currently actually heading down along to like the main square area where we're just gonna go visit like this wellness center so they like they do this little cafe and everything with all this like raw you know vegan gluten-free stuff but we're more visiting it just because uh, they have like an infrared um, little like healing thing and it's like a detox machine so you lie in it and it uses infrared to detox the body from like the inside out which is pretty cool and then it's also got like a chakra mat and like there's also this like tank where you like float in it and it has like magnesium um, to like heal the body after like like a, like a heavy exercise and stuff. So my dad's going to go do that and then my sister's going to go do use the infrared uh, detox. Thank you! That's what it's called. Red light therapy. She's going to use the, um, the red light therapy uh, tank thing. Not tank. It's like in a little pod thing, so your head lies out of it, but your body's like exposed to like the infrared. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that's basically where we're headed this morning on this beautiful day. It's actually nice and sunny, which is so nice. with like this little charcoal, charcoal stick. stick. So basically it just filters the water through. I've actually seen this on a YouTube video once. Yeah, with so the Dalton Twins in their survival video. Oh no, so. I didn't see it on that video. But yeah, apparently so it filters the water and alkalizes you, as well as making the actual taste of the water like better, just because it takes out all the impurities and things. Oh, How long do they last? You know, I can't remember. Yeah, um, she said six months, but they you gotta um, wash it after three months. And then she said at the end of the six months, if you sprinkle a lot on your garden, it really boosts the um, nutrients for the garden. But that's really cool. I love that this place uses these kind of stuff. I've, this is the first place I've actually seen use these. They're more environmentally friendly as well, just because you can compost these after six months when you've finished using them. Whereas, like, I have used, or I do use filter jugs at home. So, like, you have to change the filter every, I don't know, six weeks or so after a certain amount of uses. And you have to throw out the like the used filters all the time. So I just think if you're more environmentally conscious and you want to have clean, I think it's more effective to in filtering your water, it makes the water taste better. Like I definitely go for the charcoal sticks. You can definitely find them online. There's so many different shops that sell them nowadays. So I might even link a couple down below if you guys would like to check them out. But yeah, this place is 100% vegan. And yeah, they do gluten for options, but they also try and be as environmentally friendly as they can, which is pretty cool. But like, girl, like, look at all the oh stuff, gosh. like mushroom madness. Oh, yeah. oh, um, really? Yes, please. Oh, okay. The charcoal cheeseburger. Hit that in there. Charky. Charky cheese. Did you guys see the charcoal cheeseburger? That's so cool. Yeah. Charcoal in the burn. Oh, 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 I might get. Oh, what do I feel like getting chai? Do I always want to go for my classic chai? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, 100% bread. Actually awesome. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Oh my god. Yum. This actually looks so good, especially for gluten free. And then there's like vegan coconut cream, coconut ice cream. And then they've used, I don't even know what they did to make it vegan, but it's like French toast, man. It's so good. Okay, so I just went, I just went to a. Uh, a red light therapy session. A red light therapy session. <laughs> it was really good, actually. So. 
I went into like this little, no, you hold it. <laughs> so I went into this little pod and it had like a red light obviously coming um, out of it. So I would just lie in it and my head would be out. And um, and then it got like, it just was like heat. Just felt like I was just getting hot and warm from the sun kind of thing. And then so I just like did that for like 40 minutes and it's supposed to detox yourself. So it goes like right into like all the right into deep down into your skin and into your collagen and into muscles. your muscles and everything and uh, uh, detoxes you really well um, and then uh, I also did a chakra mat and that was really good too so you had a mat down like and it had crystals, crystals I had no not red light crystals just like chakra crystals I think they're chakra crystals or oh, anyways they had crystals in the mat um, all, and then they had like these little, uh, little red circles all along the mat in rows and you would just lie down and then those would heat up and it sent um, electromagnetic waves through you and it also um, goes deep into your joints and your muscles again and um, just realigns your chakras obviously as well and you get really sweaty from it as well. So I was just like sweaty the whole time. It helps with your brain fog and stuff. Oh yeah, and like it helps with your um, boosting your immune system, um, clearing brain fog, and there's also something else it did. We just helped you feel more cleansed, hey? Oh yeah, and like detox. after I finished all of it and I came out, I felt like I've not felt like my normal self in like over a year and I felt literally back to the old me like just myself and like happy and like nothing cl clogging my, my mind or anything and I felt cleansed inside like I felt really clean internally yeah so that's basically her experience with the wellness center like the red light therapy and the chakra mat there is a float tank there like I said which has magnesium and epsom salts so it's like floating on the dead sea kind of thing because it's so thick in the water Woo. A little bit dark, but yeah. So we're just about to head back now. Go to the beach. By the way, I have to say, like, look, FYI, I like make... their food was amazing. That French toast oh, was legitimately I had that French toast too, so, so good. good. They had like oh. ice cream that was it was like very vegan green. ice cream yeah. and vegan like whipped cream. Oh my god, so, it was good. so yum. Sure, it's made from. If you guys live in the Sunshine Coast area. Yeah. And you want a good feed or just Thank even you. getting you know a bit of red light therapy or a float London tank Zunden is the place to go 100% recommend it's so good. I definitely want to go back and try a few other things They have this they do pizzas like vegan pizzas too, which I kind of 100% want to try out too But yeah, so we're just heading back to our little unit Oh yeah, they also played meditation music if you want to put that in. They also played med <laughs> meditation music with my pod and my chakras <laughs> okay. to relax you. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're about to head back to our apartment and get changed and go to the beach. I think I might swim in a t-shirt just because like, look at that. Oh, I hate when I burn myself. Every year I don't learn. So I'm just rinsing my feet off. Every year I forget that like the sun is stronger because we're in like more toward the equator, we're closer to the equator, because we've gone north. And I always forget that you get burnt quicker in Queensland than you do in New South Wales, so <sighs> I'm gonna have to do something about this. I might wear a different bikini top just to cover this just net going on. But yeah, so we're going to head to the beach. Back to the beach! Back to the beach! <laughs> How did you know? I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> as soon as it came out of my mouth, I knew that's what you were going to do. So we're going to head to the beach and do a bit of like vitamin D soaking up. Soaking. Vitamin D soaking. Going to absorb some of that vitamin D. And then we come back and get some lunch. But yeah, see we're going to tick. Okay guys, so I've just gone to the beach and just kind of rinsed off. My hair's a mess, but I was like, I'm going to the beach later, so there's no point washing it. So I'm just going to go and make myself some lunch. I'm gonna try out this super green wellness bowl. Actually, yesterday I had the super nature like vegan spaghetti bowl, which was like legit so good. So I'm gonna try out this one. I haven't had it before. It's got no gluten in it. So that's why I got this one and it's also vegan. So I'm actually super keen to try it out because it looks so yum. So we'll see how it goes. I actually think I'm going to add in some of these olives as well. I literally, oh, I live off these all the time, especially traveling. These are the best, just because they're so easy. I remember when I went to Greece a couple years ago, all I ate, literally, I'm not joking, all I ate 
were olives and bread. <laughs> I just would put the olives on my bread with maybe a bit of like cheese or something. And legit, it was just so good and so cheap as well. I'm really bad when it comes to food and travel. Like I just won't eat because it's just cheaper. But doing this, like just having olives and bread, saved my life. It was just so cheap and so easy and so good. But anyway, all I was just basically saying was that I love olives so much and these are really yummy. You can get them from the deli and they're probably better for you. They're less preserved, but I like these ones. Uh, are you ready to go back to the beach? Back to the beach! Back to the beach! Back to the beach! If your whole vlog's gonna get so annoyed at that being said, it'll be a pink Yeah, everyone's gonna like, shut up! <laughs> get it, you're going back to the beach! Alright, about to head on a walk. If anybody ever ready for the walk. But trying to round up the whole fan, mate, that in Takes itself like is an, an actual feat. You've got to let everyone know an hour in advance Not that even. we're leaving. Three and hours in advance and then it takes an hour for everyone to turn all out. <laughs> so you want to set the time an hour earlier so that everyone thinks that they're leaving at that time but really will end up leaving like an hour later. Which is on time. <laughs> <laughs> so if I didn't say before, we're about to go on like a little walk along the beachfront. Uh, just up to this cute little lighthouse along like the edge of the beach the edge of the beach <laughs> the end of the beach so basically we're just heading back to the beach back to the beach it's about around like 5 36 p.m so it's actually quite a nice temperature at the moment it's cooled down immensely than what it was this morning so yeah we're just going to do a little bit of a walk i might montage this bit i might not i'll see how i feel oh it's so pretty such a beautiful day. It looks quite dark and cloudy, but it's actually like sunny, if you can see. <laughs> oh, the sand is so nice. Are you ready? I do have to say in Australia, like one of the biggest blessings is how nice the sand is. Especially like since like traveling overseas and like experiencing other beaches especially in Europe where it's like quite stony I like I remember sun baking on all these pebbles and just like realizing how lucky we are in Australia to actually have like nice sand like soft sand were you in my background <laughs> so we're just heading up actually literally to that point just out there there's like a mini white light lighthouse so you've got to walk all the way around out to that point there Sorry if my audio hasn't been that great. I'm still working out where the mic works and like how far I can talk away from it without the, the sound dropping out. So just bear with me a little bit. Did anybody else as a kid like do that game where you'd like step in other people's like footholes in the sand? I say like me and my siblings, we'd always do that. I don't know why, it was a fun game. guys so I forgot to end the vlog yesterday basically all we did was come back from our walk actually side note what was so cool is when we were walking back along the wharf from the jetty coming back from that little lighthouse uh, there was actually a green sea turtle we saw it popped its little head up in the water and then dive back down but I honestly like that was probably one of the most incredible moments of my life like I think that like, you see a sea turtle like in the wild like in nature oh my god that was literally so so cool like what an incredible experience um so we walked back home had dinner watched a movie just went to bed like the usual nothing too exciting so yeah thank you for watching this vlog today i hope you enjoyed if you did like it please give a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel so you can stay up to date with my adventures and everything on this holiday and any makeup tutorials and things like that otherwise have an awesome day guys i love you all so much See ya.